It's probably too important to reiterate that as an addict over time, you become negligent oh, in basic helpful oh, yeah. ways, right? You become addicted to sugar because uh, heroin lowers your blood sugar. So most people just eat sugar constantly. And there's other ways to get sugar to satisfy those cravings through fruits, fruits and, yeah. and stuff like that. So, so even that like the, for the teeth problem too. Yeah, sometimes. well, and a lot of that is acid too from throwing up. Right. Because they're not rushing. Not an enviable factor. lifestyle. No, 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 no. So, um, so classes would be meals that uh, were prepared by the resident. Like you yeah. know, you'd have a class on how to cook a meal, and that would be the meal for the residents. It's like reschooling, yeah. go back to school, a different kind of school out in the rural exactly. area, healthy setting, hard work, uh, exercise. An yeah. herbalist, an acupuncturist, massage, physical therapy. A lot of these people need physical therapy. Like they, like they're having, they have arthritis. They have huge problems. Naturopathy. Uh, the addict I dealt with yesterday has MS, multiple mm -hmm. sclerosis, as yeah. well as extensive surgery on the legs, so it can't, it can't have any impact on it. Yeah. Veins have broken, they've had veins replaced. Right? Yeah. And of course, those in, in combination with childhood issues have kind of encouraged the addiction as a way to deal with it. You know, yeah. this pain and, and inability to function like a normal person. Yeah, know. exactly. Full gym we would like to have there with different activity classes offered a lot, like a, with a huge emphasis on exercise. Yeah. So lots of like aerobic style, lots of like martial arts style, this, right. all this kind of things. the importance of exercise is because the body releases almost drug-like endorphins during yes. physical exertion and that's a high that you can produce yourself that replaces the drug high. And in fact it's a pretty substantial thing too. You can Makes really you feel happy. great. Yeah, it does. Makes you really happy. Yeah. For sure. Uh, a sweat lodge that is probably going to be built and maintained by clients um, because we want to be able to uh, handle and facilitate all types of healing. You know, we don't want to be just like AA or NA or Christian or whatever. We want every, every type of people to come to this and everything so and also alternate alternate types of counseling and healing like i said for different people who have different needs um, hypnosis i also think is just a great technique um, it, for getting over addictions like is that I, you've been hypnotized? yes uh, not really hypnotized i what i did is i went and saw a man who did a relaxation thing with me and once you he got me relaxed he started talking to me about uh, about getting over drugs and, um, um, oh gosh, I'm having trouble even remembering what it's all about. Well, stuff like the way say. he uses, yeah, just positive affirmations That's and right. stuff like that. And you listen to this and if you learn how to give positive affirmations to yourself, you can completely change your mindset and not even realize that you're doing it. Okay. So, so let's sum and, up here. and also this, sorry, this, in yeah. point I find is also huge. I would love to do a full career assessment program because so many people are, uh, they don't know what to do. You yes, know, that's a big you got to get a job. You got to find something to do. What are you good at? Let's offer this. Let's find out what these people are good at. That allows people to get back into addiction. The lack of, uh, they don't know what to do with the time they they when they're drug free. In the period when they're drug free, they become almost depressed. They think because, they're stupid. Yeah. They yeah. think they, they think they can't work because they haven't done it for so long. They think, oh, who's going to trust me? Right. Or oh, that, that's so true. And of course, that leads back to the spiral of addiction. Again, right. Because that's hopelessness. You need hope to move forward. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it also includes a phase two housing, which would be uh, numerous houses that are set up in the city to integrate people back into society. And it would be in the support recovery type that I spoke of uh, with, tur like, with Turning Point. Um, and that's to establish people into the community and get you supported in your community. Um, work on getting a job or some sort of activity. P some people are on disability and they cannot work, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that they can't get involved in some sort of activity that m makes them happy or exercise that pleases them. Some mm -hmm. sort of keeping on with the healing process. Uh, working on getting people back in with their families and involving, involving them with healing processes. Um, once you're stabilized, um, at a job, start to look for your own place. After you move to your own place, continue with an aftercare program that involves, you know, coming back in, doing meetings with the housing, and I don't know if it can involve AA and NA. I, you know, I wish that 
it could because I think that that can be a great program. Well, you should check out that farm sometime and let me know. Maybe that'd be our next procedure. <laughs> we need a permanent facility to do our I, I, no doubt. Last week I did it at my home, and this week we did it at the addict's home. And yeah, we're going yeah. up to someone else's home later on today as well yeah. for a second treatment this week. It's uh, great. The, a, a, a rural community would be great where we grow the food and people yeah. and are away Fresh from the temptation. Yeah, and we give them hard work like chopping wood, doing things, physical labor. Physical labor that's purposeful that makes you feel good yeah. goes a long way. Yeah, get people doing art and all kinds of You know what of I things. think I found too though is every addict I deal with has terrible childhood trauma. Yeah. Usually almost always with their parents, yeah. one parent, especially the same sex one, the boys and their fathers and the girls with their mothers, the difficulty. Sure. And this wounded soul, this wounded yeah. soul they carry around with them seems to lead them to hardcore addiction and unless that soul gets healed mm -hmm. and that heart, you know, I don't see a permanent peace for them. Yeah. And so Ibogaine, uh, to some degree, I think you'll agree, allows them to look at their wounded soul and to try and address why I'm unhappy, why, yeah. I'm, why I'm prone to a drug addiction. Yeah. And of course, I believe probably it's a lifelong struggle. People like Howard Lotsoff, who's not here with us, but he'll see this tape. Mm -hmm. And I'm cool. sure Howard, you know, is, will agree that you know, after he had Ibogaine in 1962, yeah. 1962, 40 years ago, that addiction is a lifelong project, you know, that you have to deal with. For sure, it's my path uh, in in life, and I believe that uh, myself as a spirit, I believe I'm in, you know, come back again and again. I believe I chose this path, and uh, I believe if I don't get over addiction this time around, I'm going to have to do it next time around, and maybe it's not going to be so pretty next time around. You know, so one of the things <laughs> not that it was nice this time. Maybe, but, you know, maybe we should research that. Fine. Maybe we should find out what we can do and uh, get that going. That could be a good project. For it you could be an amazing project. And it project. has to come sooner or later, so yeah. we should get down to that. Yeah, I would be totally interested. I would, I would love to, to yeah, like... Hey, this could be so good. It could. It will be. Yeah. Hey, thanks for coming and talking talk to everybody. And, uh, yeah, so I want to... Sorry. Go ahead. You're okay, I want to say thank you so much to Mark because if it hadn't been for him, I wouldn't have known any of this. I wouldn't be where I am today in so many ways, like not even just with the IBM, but with everything else. No. And yeah, yeah. Well, so this is so great. <laughs> this is so great. See, this is great. This is us. Uh, and I'm happy for you. Good, thanks. Goodie. Right on. Hey, that's it.